Hey guys, I'm here with another requested review. This is over the Dark Angel. It's by Meredith Ann Pierce, and this was requested to me by DM25. I'll link his channel below. He has his own channel. He's a great uh, booktuber. You guys should really check him out if you haven't. Reading Chick was she requests so much stuff from me, and she also has her own channel, so please go check her out as well. A little bit of information about this series. This is book one in the Dark Angel trilogy. There is A Gathering of Gargoyles, which is the second one, and the the peril of the soul of the world and both of them that's a weird name but both of them are already out so you can if this is a, you just want to devour a series real fast this is one you won't have to wait for just go by and get it done with this is about a girl named Ariel and she is kidnapped from her like it makes it sound like it's a very um medieval world like the little village that she's in and there's like castles and stuff so it sounds like it's a very medieval world even though it's not really stated that it is but for some reason that's just the way I imagined it so she's kidnapped out of her village by the dark angel and the dark angel is like this man with big huge black wings and he lives in the castle and he kidnaps Ariel to take care of his 13th wives his 13th wives are also girls that he has kidnapped but he has them married and then their souls are taken so they're like shriveled up like just just pathetic, sad women that she has to take care of. Where his takes his 14th wife, he'll come into full power. So Ariel must then try to stop that. Also in the book is that I loved it. I loved it. It was so much fun. The wording in it is a little weird though. And it took me a while to get, not like all of the wording, but just some of the wording. Like sometimes when they would... Once you say 13, they would say 12 and 1. Like, little things like that. They just worded things differently. But and that was a, something that I kind of had to get used to. And it was a really high fantasy world. And I sometimes that fantasy did get a little cheesy. But not much. Like, really out there fantasy. And, but I really liked it. I really loved the high fantasy. Especially when it has dark undertones to it. The only downplay about the book is I would, would have liked to see more interaction between the Dark Angel and Ariel. First reading it, you feel like you see the path and you feel like the book is going to stay on that path. But this one doesn't. Every time I got comfortable on one path, it would shoot off in a different direction. You'd be like, whoa, where's it going? That's not where I thought it was going to be because a lot of books pick a path and stay with it, like in a setting or an area or with character development and stuff like that. And it kind of like surprised me by changing the tempo a little bit. It's just dark and adventurous and high fantasy and vampires. So this was published in 1982 so she knew what she was doing with vampires. There was, there's not like there wasn't like a standard for vampires that you know with today's YA. So if you're a high fantasy person or if you love vampires or if you love our dark fantasies or adventures this is definitely the book for you because it was just it had it all in it. Those are all things that I love and that's all things that this one had in it. This is Stacey but Chapter Chicks and these chapters were for you. Bye guys.